Hello and welcome. My name is Laura Brady. I have been making ebooks with InDesign for many years, and I'm going to guide you through creating an ebook using what is the most common starting point for ebooks, that is, the print layout file. InDesign is a terrific print layout tool, but in order to get really good ebooks out of it, you need to understand how to work the gears. And even then, you will need to do some cleanup of the HTML and the CSS that InDesign creates. I will walk you through that whole process from beginning to end, and I'll be demonstrating my own workflows that I use with a wide variety of publishers and content types. This workflow is idiosyncratic in that it includes hacks that I've developed over more than a decade of nudging InDesign politely and then not so politely. So we're going to start with some basic fiction to which I've added some more complex elements. The files will be available for you to work with if you wish as you move through the course. I will be working from InDesign 2023 version 18.1. Other software packages that will make an appearance include uh, Sigil, it's an ebook editor, Oxygen Editor, it's a text editor, EPUB Checker, Ace by Daisy, BB Edit, another text editor, Ecan Crusher, and the following InDesign scripts Page Staker, Live Index, and Break Text Thread. Um, Page Staker is in the Assets folder associated with the videos. Um, Live Index is a paid script and Break Text Thread is uh, downloadable from elsewhere on the internet. And a quick note about how InDesign looks. I use the dark mode with the typography settings, but I also customize the tools that are on the page so that I can see quickly what I need. I would encourage you to do the same if you haven't already. I generally keep paragraph and character styles popped out from the sidebar along the right and I add scripts, conditional text, table and object styles. I prefer to work with the baseline grid turned off, but with invisibles, text frames and guides turned on. And this is all a question of personal preference, obviously, but I want to prepare you for what you're going to see. And a note about InDesign. It is a highly technical, almost entirely visual piece of software. And while I've done my best to make this video series as accessible as possible, I'm afraid I'm not able to make the same statement about InDesign. All right, let's dig in.